And here we are versus Q. Let's see the lineup. Of course, the Lilligant, the Cyclizar, Morph, Cleavor, Fundy, and Meloetta. Meloetta, the only Terra Captain on the squad. And of course, as mentioned, a very offensive team. Marinson team leads. Could just be a Cleavor lead. Could be Cyc like a lot of, lot of mods can lead there, let's be honest. Um. You are good versus a lot. Yeah, barring barring the Lilligant. I think you are good with everything and the Morph. I mean, we are Terra Ground, so we are good with the Morph as well. So I think I just want to lead with you, get my Terra off right away, so I can deal with Thunderous. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. That's the idea. That's what we want to do with the Florges. Other than that, uh, he has Rapid Spin on Cyclozar potentially. Uh, Chateau is banned, so we don't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, looks 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 fine. Looks fine. I'm happy with the the matchup. Of course, it depends a lot on how to how it plays out in these uh, offensive matchups. Usually, that's the more important thing, like how, how, what actually happens in the play, like what kind of predictions are happening, and all these shenanigans. So yeah, excited for for that. Let's like I said, we are desperate for a win after these last two weeks. We need to start winning again, and we are here to do that versus Q. So let's go, let's go. What is his lead of choice? For him, it's gonna be the Craven. Craven is this guy. Okay, so we're definitely gonna Terra Ground right away. So we resist the Terra, uh, we resist the, the, the rock move. That's the plan with our Florges versus, let's see, Cleavor. Let's get the card going. Just stay all at attacker if I'm Terra Ground. Utah will still go good amount. My Moonblast will do a good amount as well, but yeah, that's what we are here for. He can't do it me, that's the important thing. Firing with close combat potentially, but would he click that with a fairy type? I don't know. So let's go with that. Let's get our tear up right away. So the Stone Axe won't be doing as much work to us. We are mainly speed def, so the Stone Axe will do still do good damage. I give his max attack, no boosting item, does like 26 to 32%, even though it's resisted. So let's go from there and let's see what actual damage we see. And I like that. I want my I want my tear off. And there's a U-turn. And U-turn does that six 106 damage. Wait, did I miscalc? Because if that's 106, that makes no sense. Um I think it's 156. Yeah, that makes 156. That's just max attack jolly. That is indeed just max attack jolly. U-turn. Yeah, because I'm not a 303, of course I have 353 HP. So the Moonblast, uh, like I said, Morph is his best switch in, but since I'm Terrat, Morph can't really deal with me that well. Other than that, he doesn't have great switches into this Moonblast here. So let's see what he wants to do. Because this is, uh, we have, we have uh, this Moraine right here as trained. There is some investment into that spit attack. So there's nothing which really likes to take in this Moonblast. Only the, only the Morph really. But will he switch that in on a potential Terra Ground? I don't know. There's this guy. Okay. I like seeing that. There's the Moonblast. And boom. That does around 50-ish percent versus Thundi. Virian. So he is definitely some a little bit invested at least. A little bit. A little bit invested at least. So what I want to do is just scout a little bit and synthesis up. See what he wants to do because Moonblast would be a two hit, would be a roll. Okay, hard switch is out. Hard switch is out. Into what? Into Iron Pizza, which is the Iron Moth. That is fine with me. Do we see a balloon? See booster energy. Booster energy, that's fine with me. Um, booster energy means no weird item. That means our Terra Blast will just kill this. Yeah. And of course, energy ball will do a good amount, but I take a dead moth for damage on my floaters. There's the energy ball, will do some good damage, but not enough. And this terror blast should oko the moth. So getting rid of that, I take it. I take it. This floaters is already putting in the work. And yeah, moth gone. We love to see that. We love to see that. Love to see that. We get leftovers recovery and at around 50-ish percent. Let's see, do we get into green? We actually do get into green, which is nice. 
Okay, awesome, Floatus. Good job, good job. Would love to synthesis app you at some point, so you better switch into the Thunderous as well. But yeah, obviously the Lilligan come in now and go for like grass move shenanigans, which will do like insane damage because we are ground type. Other than that, Meloetta can Terra into Electric, Psychic and Fairy. So Electric obviously wouldn't do a whole lot versus us. Depends a lot of, of course, as well, if it's like standard uh, special Meloetta or we see the Reddick Song variant. But great start, great start he, so far. Don't know why he had, so he doesn't have U-turn, that's what I'm feeling. So he has Wolf Switch, if anything, on the Fundy. No U-turn, because otherwise why would he not click that versus me? Because, uh, yeah, it would have to be like... <laughs> I mean, I guess theoretically Florges could be faster than No Speed uh, no speed Thunderous, but why would he No Speed Thunderous? Okay, Mighty Cyrus. Um, my mid-ground versus that is the is Corviknight. Just switching that in. Thinking what he wants to do. Uh, Thunderbolt, I... Assuming, no, barring a very nice prediction, I don't think that's gonna come out. But let's see. Let's see, let's see, to be fair. I want, that's my mid-ground. Call mine, CM, okay. CM Meloetta. CM. I want to go for u turn like, plus one Meloetta. Let's see, Terra Electric. Let's assume Terra Electric, because that just makes the most sense at the moment, or is the most threatening at the moment. Uh, Terra Electric. Boom. With the Thunderbolt versus... This boy versus my Covenite will uh, Oko me. That's an Oko. Do I prefer not to be Oko? Yes, I do. Do I just hard switch into you? No, I don't really want that either. Uh, but I do need to free switch into something. I don't know if he's like, could be like, but I force him to Terra and then I can Oko him with Earthquake, which he does have Fundy to switch in potentially into. Um. So I think I'm fine with that. I will be losing that, which is great for Cleaver, potentially other stuff as well, but I think I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Thunderbolt without Terra, okay. Thunderbolt, we should lift this. Yeah, we do lift this. Get the Para though. Oh, it is Searing Grace, I mean, but please no full Para here. Okay, nice, we do get the U-turn off. Does very little versus Meloetta. The U-turn, that did like 10%, should be doing more. So it might be like a max HP variant, something like that. So he's not Terra Electric necessarily. Mm. So I think... As hell, I want rocks. Yeah, I do want rocks. Do like rocks. Do enjoy rocks quite a lot. Don't want to go into my um, into my thing yet. Into my uh, Roaring Moon yet, which obviously is the thing which gas us out. We see leftovers? Leftovers, okay. So I assume it's max HP. That would explain the U-turn damage there. So, um, do I want rocks that desperately? Um, kind of do. Kind of love having rocks versus the, versus the team. But the spike does. There was a bit of this item. Um, which is, I think I just U-turned for damage. u for damage. We have muscle band. I just don't want to switch into Roaring Moon because he likes that. He could Terra. He could Terra even right here. And I don't want to lose my... He, he does Terra right here. Okay, what does he Terra into? Is it Fairy? Is it Electric? Is it Psychic? What do we see? Whatever we see, we are U-turning out. And it is Terra Fairy. Okay, Fairy. Fairy. And that's t -Bolt. Do we see another CM? U-turn out of there. Does, of course, now very little. Do we see another... Mm, 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 mm. I can still Destiny Bond you with you. I quite... Could be nice. Could be nice, because other than that, I mean, your Ice Beam is still strong as the team as well, so I'd rather keep you around. Um, I think second you is the play. Second Corviknight actually is the play, I think. Second Corviknight is the play, I think. Do you another CM? There's a gleam, that is. D gleam. D gleam. And I just go for Brave Bird. I just go for Brave Bird. So. Uh, Brave Bird. Except I'm attacking this. Terra Fairy. Fairy, Fairy, Fairy. So. Yeah, it kills me, which is fine. Rory Moon of Iron Head does like 50 ish percent. We need more damage. So I think what I want to do. Is switch into 
Switch into Frostless. Try Destiny Bonded. Mm -mm -mm. What is the best way of dealing with this? <sighs> I need some good damage on this. But what do I what do I get rid of to get the damage? I think it's Azelf. I think Azelf is the one I have to to sack to get enough damage on this with Zen Headblood. So, see Zen Headbutt, does neutral damage now. SED Gleam. We should not lift this, this is like Terra Boosted. Oh, we do lift this actually. Okay, because not invested most likely. Not invested most likely. Okay, but after another Zen Headbutt, this Meloda is in range, and that's what we wanted. That's the. That's what we wanted. This Meloda is scary. Scary for sure. Then we can go with uh, our Roaring Moon to revenge kill this. Very offensive matchup right here. We still have the Sash intact. Preferably we don't want the rocks up. Our hazard removal is gone, so we won't, uh, won't prevent Cleave off of setting up rocks. I go for another Zen to bring this thing in range. Let's see. Uh, Azaf with the Zen headbutt. Yeah. Oh, it looks more Fist Death, honestly, than Max HP. See, Max Fist Death. Uh, oh, switched out actually, okay. What switched into the headbutt? Better Ray Bill. That is the Thunderous, okay. Sex that. Okay, sex the Thunderous. Wants to keep Meluella healthy, I can respect that. He might think that I'm banded, since he saw the muscle band. Like, uh, I have muscle band. So you might think from that damage that I'm banded. Sends out Craven. Um, once get up his rocks. Mm, do I use this chance to get my own rocks up? Might be Scarf though. Might actually be Scarf. He might actually be Scarf. Yeah, that might be a thing. Would kill my Azov then. If you turn, I could just go into ten. But he probably wants his rocks up to be honest. If he's Scarf, he wants his rocks up, and I can't prevent that. My hazard removal is gone. Um, yeah, so my hazard removal is sadly gone. Do I want to keep this around or go into something else? If Stone Axe happens, I can go on the floor, just synthesis up. Which I enjoy. I just try to get up my rocks. I'm assuming this thing is Scarf. Yeah, it is Scarf. Just go to U-turn though. Okay, no Stone Axe. No Stone Axe. Scarf. I like not, not, not the Stone Axe not happening. I enjoy that. Not having to worry about rocks yet. So both we are both two down. But I got more damage so far on this team. So what does he switch into now? It's Miley Cyrus, which is Meloetta again? Meloetta again, okay. Is the Meloetta again. So the way I win this game, I think, is with Talonflame. If she if this thing is defensive with the Thunderbolt, this is my channel's name. Can I just go for an SD? Oh, that's still this. Uh, I could. I could, but to be honest, would be doing enough. So I need more damage on this. Could just go into you, but then we play like the Destiny Bond shenanigans, which I do enjoy. So I think what we do, we go into you. Iron Head, Sack. So I think my distance cleaver is Scarf. Um, hmm, I need Floor just healthy. This metal is a big problem. This is the best thing I have to do with this. Get my booster. So a flinch obviously would be awesome. But I need damage on this. I need enough damage on this. So I go for Iron Head. Iron Head, if he's max, like max fist death, that's like 38 to 45. There's the Iron Head. Boom, that looks like the damage. There's the Gleam, we obviously die to that. Obviously die to that, but now he's in range. Now he's in range of the stuff. Now he's in range. For our Tower Flame. Yeah, 
Yeah, we still have the sash intact. Yeah, now he's in range of Talon Flame. So the T-Bolt. Um, if he has another Scarfa, I have a problem. Lorges can deal. It doesn't matter what I click here. Brave Bird hits the team the best. He might not be in range. Like I said, this since I have no attack investment, he might not be in range actually. But he doesn't know that. He indeed does not know that. Lords can two hit this. I need like that's the brave bird. Okay, can we get this kill? We cannot. That sucks a little bit. We do get a thunderbolt here now on us, which we do live to be honest. But to be fair, another full para. That's that one's bad. That one is indeed pretty, pretty bad. That one sucks a lot. I don't know how much of the roll that was, but that para sucks a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, because now it's faster. Yeah. That para sucked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A whole lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's can't be underestimated how much that that sucked. Because I don't know if an ice beam from Frostless is actually enough. It should be enough. It should be enough. That's like 21 to 25 to max HP Meluetta. But that, yeah, that sucked a lot. Do not like seeing that. We hate seeing that. We actually hate seeing that because now I don't know how we can deal with the Lilligan potentially. It depends a lot on what happens. You might get, yeah, might need some luck and all favor as well. We might need some luck and all favor as well now. We might need some luck and all favor as well. Ah, uh, this game is not going as planned. Meluetta putting a lot of work. Putting in a lot, a lot of work. Oh, like uh, our our floor is still nice, but he has obviously he has a little again. I mean, he could hustle this. Like that's something I can hope for. That's something I could hope for. What is much into here? Cleaver, Cleaver would want like to. There's Craven. Okay. What I want to do right here is Thunder Wave. There's his Stone Axe. Gets up the rocks. I lift to my sash. And I can thunder wave. Hopefully. I mean, I, I have to hit. <laughs> it's always scary. And uh, yeah, okay, this game's over. This game is officially over, I think. Um, Florges, I mean, I do get a thing off, but I don't think that's. I try to get a spike up here. Yeah, he hits, a, he hits a stone axe as well. Oh, this game is not going well. This game is not going well. Florges, can you? No, I need a hustle miss from Lilligant. That's basically what I need. I need a hustle miss from Lilligant. The only thing I can hope for. I have to synthesis here and get a hustle miss from Lilligant. I come. I missed. I missed the ten percent thunder wave. Hustle is the same percentage, depending on items. It might be less, but that's what I have to hope for. That's what I have to hope for. Come on, we got we got insane like didn't <laughs> the luck last week didn't matter, which is a sad part. But we got insanely lucky last week, so I guess there's karma in some way or another. But he hard switches out. You know, sexy cyclers are, I'm assuming. Sexy cyclers are, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's cyclers are. I go for synthesis. Don't necessarily know what cyclers are wants to do versus me. But I'm now at full health. Um, Sykesar has, of course, some options and what it wants to do. I just obviously Moonblast here. And try to Oko this. Dragonclaw will not be doing a lot. Oh, is that Bandit? Oh, Life Orb, okay. Yeah, that's that's definitely boosting. So Cyclizar dies, 
So now, like I said, I need the Lilligan to miss. That's what I need. I need Lilligan to miss. Like, just as I did Thunder Wave. Come on. Come on, give me that. I got I got two times Swimming Grace Thunder Wave. One time it mattered. Uh, you can give me this miss. You can give me, you can give me the uh, Lilligan Hustle miss. Come on, game. Come on, game. Craven, okay. Craven, Craven, Craven. Let's just want to... Okay, this is just Synthesis. Starting what he wants to do. He, it seems my opponent knows that he doesn't want to risk the miss. There's the x -Sizzle. Does enough. Okay, sadly does enough. So yeah, didn't mid out the miss in the end, but uh, yeah, that tough game. Tough, 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 tough game. The defensive Meluetta, like if I would have been, uh, should have probably been more offensive for Roaring Moon, then I could have deal dealt with that better. Could have tried to get Hazards up. Uh, Hazards didn't really matter in this game. I closed to awkward everything. Yeah, the Meluetta was too big of a problem with all the, uh, like, not, not dying to my stuff. That's basically the important part. It was not dying to my moves, which was the most part. So yeah, and then of course some bad luck is that as well. But uh, yeah, another loss. One and three. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That sucks. That sucks. Ugh, we really have to do some stuff in the upcoming weeks to make playoffs because so far it's not going well. We had a great week one. Week two, I take that loss. Building mistake. Week two was just a uh, great prep from Edison. This match right here, I think I could have won. I don't know. Like, I don't want to blame the, obviously, the, the luck shenanigans, but I, I think there's, there's stuff I could have done. I think there's stuff I could have done to to win this match. Uh, I will I will analyze the match later on. Maybe you can let me know in the comments what you think what the mistake here was. But either way, GG to Q. Link for his uh, side of the match, of course, in the description. But uh, that's all for me. Um, let's get those wins in the last four weeks because we want to make playoffs. We are here for the championship. Uh, so far, it's not going well. But I hope for the best for the upcoming matches. I yeah, really need to. Uh, yeah, up my game it seems and yeah, that's what we're gonna do in the second half of this season But that's all for me. I will see you another time. Ciao